Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Heads Plus. This plugin allows you to get custom heads for different things like mobs, letters, players and a bunch more using a GUI. It has many features such as heads leaderboards, challenges, crafting of heads, mob dropped heads and it's all very customizable. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and search for Heads Plus, like so. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it to your plugins folder manually. It is recommended to install Vault and a Vault compatible economy plugin, however it's not necessary. Once you're in game, you can open a help menu with slash HP help and go through all the commands. The main command you'd want to use is slash heads. This will open a GUI to select a bunch of heads from. To navigate through this GUI, just click on these icons to move around. Of course, right now, since I'm not using an economy plugin, I'm able to just pick whatever head I want and it'll get added into my inventory. But if you wanted to, you could have players pay for each of these heads. You can even set up whitelists and blacklists so that only the heads you specify show up. You can also do this per world. To get more information about this, check the plugin page wiki, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Now, you can add player heads to this GUI with slash add head and then the player name. And as you can see, I've added a couple of heads here. You can give certain heads to yourself or other players with slash heads then the name of the player you want the head from, and then if you want to give it to someone else, the name of the player you want to give it to. If you want to give that specific head to yourself, you don't need to include your name at the end. If you just want to get your head, just type in slash my head and that will get added into your inventory. Like I mentioned previously, you can even sell heads. For example, if you kill mobs and when they drop their heads, you can sell those. But again, you'd need a vault compatible economy plugin for that to work. And if you do have those plugins, use the command slash sell head for that. Then you have the heads leaderboards, which you can view by typing slash HPLB. Currently, there's only me on the list since I'm the only player on the server. If you want to check some stats, type in slash HP profile to see them. You can type slash HP XP, then a username and then add, and then an amount of XP you want to add to that player. Since I'm OP, I can use all of these commands, but you're going to have to set up permissions for that. The last thing I want to mention is challenges, which you can access by typing slash HP C. You have lots and lots of challenges to do by default, but you are able to add more if you'd like. Now, there's a lot going on, but if you don't want certain things like challenges or leaderboards, you can just disable that in the configs. Now, let's take a look at the configs. Locate them in the plugins folder, and here there's a lot to go through, but most of them are very simple to understand since they're organized very well. Let's start with the easier ones. In the text menus file are the messages for this plugin. You can customize those however you like. In the sounds file are the different sounds for this plugin. For example, when you get ahead from the GUI list, there's a little sound that plays. Again, you can customize them however you like. Levels, if you have that enabled, are basically the different ranks players get when they use this plugin. You can customize what XP they need to reach the next level, rewards, and other things too. The heads file includes the heads that are dropped from mobs, and the custom heads file includes all the heads for this plugin. In the custom heads file, you can change the sections the heads appear in, you can customize each section and change a few other things too. In the heads file, you can change the chance a head will drop, the price, the name of the heads, and a bunch more. In the crafting file, you can change how these heads are crafted if you have that enabled. The challenges file contains all the challenges. Again, in there, you can add your own or customize what's already there. Finally, in the actual config.yml file, you can change things like how the plugin stores its data at the top, 
You can customize the blacklists and whitelists here if you'd like. Below are some features which you can toggle, such as crafting heads, challenges, leaderboards, levels and the others. You can toggle the boss bar on level up if you have that feature enabled, and the amount of XP you get for certain things. You can even integrate this to work with your Mythic Mobs plugin if you have that. There's a lot of options here, and I'd really suggest you check the wiki to see what they all mean. But apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.